Yeah. Um, my name is Gus and I'm from Sweden. This is my mate. My name is Milan. I'm also from Sweden. We went to high school together. Wow, look at this. So now we have uh, tempura. I don't know if you guys tried. It's, it's great. Yeah. It's a radish and ginger. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Good, it's bad. It's, it's good. I've never tried this before. Oh yeah? This no, this is completely new. Yeah. This guy Japanese is awesome, you know. <laughs> yeah, everyone tells him. How many months? Half a year. Half a year. One month. Wow. Yeah, it's good, man. I like the sauce. Yeah. So in Sweden, yeah. what kind of food is common to eat? Originally, we eat just a lot of potatoes fish, cows, dairy products, mm -hmm. but then because Europe has so many different cultures, we have a lot of like Italian, Spanish food, French has influenced us, uh, us a lot. We eat from all over the world, we eat Mexican, we have like Taco Fridays, um, we have Chinese restaurants everywhere. Uh, how about Japanese? A few. A few. <laughs> choco, choco. Choco, choco. Every, every Swedish holiday, my family eats Swedish meatballs oh, and, Swedish and, and meatball. meatball potato, yeah. Um, What's it called? Soup. Jam. Jam. Jam? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of like a weird like, like taste because you, you have meatballs and then you put jam on it and it's like sweet. Oh yeah. So it's like weird but uh, we're like we're used to it. We're used to it, yeah. We so, like we like it. What kind of jam? <coughs> Strawberry or like a blueberry, something like that? Uh, that's not that's not the thing. I think it's uh, You're gonna try that? And what are these things? Uh, it's uh, deep fried tofu. Mm. It's good. I like I like the red miso more. Uh, oh, it's really cool. Mm. How, where, where did you get it? I mean, it's I not was, like common to eat. I was I was walking, you know, Kumano Kodo. Kumano. 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 So I was just walking along the roads, and two guys picked me up. So they just gave me a place to stay, and they gave me food for the night. And yeah, for free. For free. Um, and they they gave me uh, red miso. Oh, so that's the so first cool. time. It was really cool. Oh, it was really wow, nice. that's so cool. Yeah, it was nice. It's got a good flavor, but this is good as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you done that? No, what's that? It's like fermented soybean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I tried that. I tried that. Like you either love it or you hate it. Yeah. So it's, right. Uh, it's weird. It's really weird. So, so it has like strings in between it. Yeah. Sticky. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that freaks me out. In Japan, you have fermented beans. Mm -hmm. In Sweden, we have fermented fish. And if you go to Iceland, they have fermented shark. So they shark? Yeah, shark. Oh, really? So like, the Vikings who lived there, they used to, when they, when they caught sharks, they would bury it in the ground mm -hmm. and like wait a couple of weeks and then they would eat it. Oh my god. So, yeah. It yeah. lasts longer, doesn't it? Yeah. So fermented food lasts longer, so it's just a way of preserving it before. How do you, how do you say shrimp in, um, in Japanese? Ibi, ibi. 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 Really good. I love it. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's really good here. It's really well done. So like like at the other places, like the fried stuff is usually like 90%. Uh -huh. And here it's like 50-50. Oh yeah. So it's really good here. So if I go to uh, Sweden, what kind of place for me to visit? Like Stockholm. Stockholm. Yeah. <laughs> It's an expensive country, but it's beautiful. It's very calm, very peaceful. Stockholm's the capital. That's where you have most of the old buildings and stuff. So it's it's way different from from any other place in, in in Sweden. So that's yeah, that's where you should go, and that's where you find the best food as well. Then in the south, you have Malmo and the Gothenburg. They also have very good food. But I think if you want to see nature in Sweden, you should go up north because then you can see. Uh, Modern and it's really beautiful. Oh. Like, like in Stockholm, I like you can see it one time every other month. Mm -hmm. But if you go up north, you can see it almost like every day, every really? night, every night. Then it's like the movies. It's like a dream. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. So are you a student still, or he's basically traveling around, mm -hmm. and I'm just studying here like Japanese just for fun. Okay. And then after this, I'm gonna go back. Home. Oh. Well, what made you like start <laughs> studying Japanese? Ever since I was young, I always like watched anime and stuff. Yeah. So I always had like interest for that. What's but, your favorite anime? 
Namaki. Favorite? Uh, I mean, you don't have to be favorite, but uh, <laughs> like, give me some name of anime. Like, Ashtano Jo. Ashtano Jo. It's a little bit old. Bleach. I don't like it. Like, I thought it was really special because it's really close to all the other like, countries, like South Korea and, uh, and, like, and Taiwan and China and everything. But it still, it's so different in a way. Maybe it's because an island, like because it's an island, so like, yeah. like, uh, like the culture hasn't really yeah. like changed, so it's still like preserved really well. Yeah. This was squid. It is a squid. So you've been traveling around the world. Which country is the best? I mean, so. Memorable place or things like that. So, so far I've been to Asia mm -hmm. and Australia. Um, memorable, I say Japan is definitely on the top of the list. The Japanese people are really, really polite. You're really friendly, you always help. Even sometimes if Japanese people don't want help, they still help. Because okay. they, they feel they have to. So I say it's definitely one of the most memorable. Um, India would probably be number one on the yeah. list. Yeah. So India just has like the most different culture I've ever seen yeah. and they have amazing food as well so I would say those two are probably in the top for me oh. <laughs> yeah it's, it's funny like uh, Arab countries actually ban smoking inside the restaurants yeah exactly. so yeah like, I was really shocked when I came yeah. to Japan they're like you can't smoke outside but if you go to a restaurant you can smoke inside it's fine in, in Sweden it, it's in Sweden it's opposite it's op how is it working here in Japan do you, like, do you have to work like like 10, 12 hours every day or... And then I heard like people here, they work like like crazy like that. Because like, when I came here first, I was also like a bit shocked because in Sweden we work 8 hours. Yeah. And if you work like uh, like over an hour, then you get like double pay or like you get extra. Uh, in, in, in Sweden it's a big debate right now, or like fairly big, that a lot of people want to decrease the, the amount we work. So right now we are on 40 hours per week. They want to pull it down to 30. Oh. And there's a lot of suggestions in so that. 30? Yeah. In Finland, 30 hours is just 6 hours? Yeah. 6 hours a day yes. per day. In Finland, the country next to us, mm -hmm. they have started trying out, um, it's called citizen salary or something like that. Yeah. So you get a base amount every month, uh -huh. no matter if you work or not. Then if you choose to work and get more money now, that's your choice. I don't know, we do like too much work, but uh, I just think about if it's really efficient yeah. at work, I don't think so. I mean, compared to German or maybe some countries in Europe. Northern Europe, Germany, yeah. Sweden, we're, we're, we're famous for being very productive. Yeah, productive, yes. Or well, like the, the people who work 10, 12 hours a day, like you can't stay focused that long. Yeah, get on my channel and subscribe yeah, and make some comments about it. Like yeah, cool. hell yeah. <laughs> I already subscribed. All right, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, just send, it, send the link to this one. You got quite a few subscribers, man. Ah, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's, that's good, man. Send it to the boys as well. We'll send them when the video's out. <laughs> I really, really like the, the shrimp. Yeah. It was yeah. it was really good. I think my favorite was the shrimp because I've never had like like eaten one as good as that one before. Because as I said, like uh, like all the other places, like yeah, like it's more like deep fried stuff than actual shrimp. And then other than that, I really like the tofu. Uh, I love it. I guess it was. Okay, arigato. Thank you. Arigato. Bye. I can only say that in Japanese. Sayonara. 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 Alright. Thank you.